What's up, up guys? guys? Alright guys, it is after the hurricane, after Hurricane Ian, and we wanted to sit down. We survived. We did. It was crazy. Oh, God, it got, it got intense, guys. It really did, and we want to just like sit down, answer some questions that you guys asked us, and then also talk about our experience with our first ever hurricane. This was a wild one, guys. Seriously. Sit down, guys. Smash that subscribe button. Grab some popcorn. Let's get this video to 700 likes, okay? This isn't going to be like a complete sit down video. We We've already filmed uh, a lot of footage when um, we when we were in Ponce on the other side of Florida, which is yeah. like literally was dead smack in the middle of, of the hurricane. And, and it wasn't supposed to be. That's why and, we were there. That's literally why we went there because we thought we were out of the way. Then at the last second, the hurricane switched paths, and it, we were in the dead center of it. So yeah, we took a lot of footage while we were there and then like the aftermath of like the of the whole island we were on and we'll it put was that throughout really, this video yeah really sad and really scary and it really was so we, we're gonna share that with you guys as well so we're not just gonna be sitting here the whole time so our number one question is where do you live in florida so our apartment is between tampa and st petersburg we're in a city in there yeah um so if you guys didn't watch the news or anything, this is where it was supposed to hit dead on. We literally had an emergency evacuation. Like everybody in Tampa and everybody in St. Pete, Pete in our city had, to, had get to get out. A mandatory emergency evacuation. And what's crazy is if you guys like put into perspective what happened to Fort Myers and Naples was oh what gosh. was supposed to happen to our city. Like that is. It literally makes me sick to my stomach. If you guys for some reason are not in the loop about this whole hurricane that just like demolished Florida. Yeah. We can put in some clips to kind of show you guys. But it's so crazy that our like home where we moved to six months ago was supposed to be just flat. It was supposed to be Gone. like everything water. Yeah. Like it looks like a tsunami like went through like for if any of you guys watching are in like Naples or Fort Myers I area, literally give my heart out to you guys and let everybody, us know yeah. how we can help in the comments. Yeah, drop some prayers for them because like, I, like what we went through was scary, but like it was nothing compared to what Fort Myers no. and like the like cities a around there of what they went, went through. through. <laughs> this was asked so much, but how did we meet? And I'm pretty sure I've told this story. We've so definitely talked about times, this, but, but I'm totally down to talk. We about have it again. so many new like Honey Fan members yeah. on here that like, <laughs> what's you. up, guys? Welcome yeah. to the family. Seriously. And but I'm gonna let you talk because I've been talking a lot. You want me? To you can tell. Okay. Okay. So from my perspective, guys, I used to play basketball in college. We went to Wisconsin Green Bay. Mm -hmm. So your boy is sitting there. I'm on the basketball team. I, my friend, my teammate, like. Hollas at me, and I just said Hollas at me. <laughs> he like, sounds like his old like, self. Like, <laughs> that basketball like, hunter. He shouted at me, like told me there's this girl trying to hit me up. Yeah. And I was like, okay, let me see what she's working with. <laughs> and uh, she looks like. And he he like showed me some pictures and said that he like this girl messaged him asking about me, so. I was like, you know, I gotta do my due diligence and I gotta see, is she bad? You know, is she a little baddie? <laughs> and, I'm a baddie, and I'm I, stuck! And we looked her up and uh, like stalked her a little bit and I was like, obviously from there, the rest is history. Yeah. I was like, damn, she's sexy. But that's how we <laughs> and, met. I saw him playing on the basketball court when I went to a game yeah. with my friend, my best friend Wendy. And I was like, that is my dream man. Like the way he looks and everything about him, he's an athlete, is like what I want in a person. So I should. And we're gonna have to fact check this, but Libby apparently told her best friend Wendy at the time, this was probably like a year before we started dating. Year and a half, two year years. Year and a half, that she was gonna marry me. She's like, I'm gonna marry that man. Because I literally fell in love with him at first sight and somebody asked that question can you fall in love at first sight yeah so we gotta get wendy on the line and fact check if libby actually said that she was gonna marry me yeah because hey it's not it's not happening yet but so soon you guys asked it so may much. be happening soon why are you looking at me like that <laughs> it says what did you guys do on your first date it's about to get real juicy. So, it's about to get deep. Let me say something though. So, what do you guys think is a first date, right? Like the first time we ever hung out one on one out. is different, but the first time we ever hung out, we got a little crazy. Can we tell them what we did? Let's just say um, 
We ended, Bring up, it on. we ended up going to a bar downtown with my teammates. It was me I, and I, all his teammates. I invited her to come out with the boys, yeah. the bros. So you guys know that can get a little wild. And uh, we ended up... This hole-in-the-wall bar. They ended up asking us to, like, take over the bar. Like, Libby and I, just Libby and I, yeah. we were working the bar. I don't even think that's legal. No. Like, we were getting tips. We were behind like, I it. I was shoving money. And serving dr I, no, We might it, be incriminating ourselves. No, do you know, you know what's funny, though? Didn't this bar get busted for, like, drugs? Yes. Like, a year a later. A year later, gone. Like, they, the guy they who were owned it is in jail. Drugs, and they were laundering money. Yeah. But, but, but this is all that. before we that. We, that. Maybe I didn't know this. Yeah. But, we were behind the bar serving drinks to like people, shots. like just going crazy. And Libby ends up like laying down on the bar. Well, some girl looks at me and she's like, girl, you got a body, lay up on the, lay up on the bar. And so I laid there and Hunter took a shot out of my belly button. Did like so she take a shot out of my belly button too? Yes, yes, I think it was me and this other chick. We pour some liquor in, in my belly button. Libby's belly button and I, let's just say it was a while. It night, was okay? fun as heck, though. All right, we got our partying days out then. Yeah. <laughs> now everything's a little more low key. That is so but, crazy. But it's kind of funny. To but that's our first time on. ever hanging out. Like, do you guys realize how crazy? <laughs> I guess you could call that our first date. But uh, our first date date, I would say, was our first birthday together. Yeah. But yeah, that was like a fun <laughs> time that I thought you guys should know about. That was nuts. We may look innocent now, but we were crazy. <laughs> okay, next question. So somebody asked, how are you guys after the storm? And Hunter kind of like mentioned in the beginning, I don't know if I put those clips in, but I was very emotional. <sighs> well, it's just so hard because the amount of people that texted me that you should get out of Florida, like drive home, drive somewhere, fly home, like everyone was telling me to leave. So then when I found out Last second, when the tornado, or tornado, why do I always say that? The hurricane. The hurricane decided to turn and aim directly at us, and I found out that we were, like, stuck. Yeah. In Ponce, and we really couldn't go anywhere. We could have, but, like, I don't know how to explain it. Alright, let me just give you guys a little perspective. Okay, I'm gonna set the scene. Ponce Inlet, which is, my family has a place there. Libby and I travel. It's by Daytona. We travel there all the time. Yeah. Okay. So to get to Ponce, it's basically like its own little island mm -hmm. on the east coast of Florida and you there's like a bridge that it's basically one way on, one way off, pretty much, to get to Ponce. Mm -hmm. And we think like we're in the clear and that the last second the storm, this hurricane with freaking 160 mile an hour winds um, is ends up that we are in the dead smack center. I took a picture of the map of the hurricane and I will show I screenshotted where we were and then the line. Yeah, and at the time, um, it ends up, yeah, we're dead smack in, the, smack in the center and at the time we are seeing what this storm is doing to Fort Myers. Because it's on the other side of Because Florida. it's hitting that first and then hitting us. Mm -hmm. And it's literally demolishing. Like the whole city of Fort Myers is just a, like the and ocean And we already now. saw this so we as we're sitting this. there waiting. And then like right before, like it, as it's about to happen to us, like our power goes out. Yeah. We have no power. We had no cell service. So, and, so we have no idea. We can't see what the like what's happening at the storm, and I Libby and I are stuck. Or anything. No lights. One thing that's crazy that I didn't realize how anxious I was gonna get. I'm actually still recovering. From, I just got chills talking about I it. Know. Um, it, was, it was. I actually freaky. like I'm still recovering right now from what I put myself through. I got so anxious. I could cry. Like I was terrified. Yeah. I was like screaming, crying twice like the night before it was hitting and then the day of i just could not hold it together i was so scared i wanted my parents like i don't I'm Guys, not, these words came out of libby's mouth i literally was i want my mom and dad like, it's not funny like it's i not. was so scared like it's kind of funny now it's kind of funny now okay i don't know i just was so scared that something was going to happen to me and i wasn't going to be able to hug no, my parents I, again i completely understand babe and that's, this isn't supposed to be like kind of like a sob story and we want you to feel bad for us. No, because I just want to vent and like you guys are so curious yeah. what we went through. This is just us like opening we're, up. Yeah, we're just telling you guys our perspective of what we went through. We know like other people went through a Way lot worse, worse. A lot worse. We are and blessed. We like we've been praying like for the whole state of Florida for all of that side. But mm -hmm. you know, it's, it was like it was a traumatizing experience. It really nonetheless. was. So.
Okay. But then again, it also like pulled us together and it made me realize like I can get through tough times. Let's, let's pop up some pictures of like some of the stuff that we did when the whole power was out and yeah. we had no lights. I think Libby and I played like four different games. We, we were playing board games. We actually had movies on we, his laptop, thank we, God. We did have some downloaded movies because we had a little bit of time to prepare. Good ones Which, too. Yeah, so it was good. We literally were in the car. We had the car because that was our only source of power. We had to run the car and we like charged charge our phones and laptop even though we couldn't do anything on our phones because we had no cell service. That condo complex though came together in like... I, I met neighbors. We met neighbors that like we had never seen no, before. and they were like it taking so us cool. in like they were like our parents. Like, like you need anything. Like we have chargers. Like yeah. there was one room in the entire complex or maybe two rooms that you could charge it was on an emergency generator yeah so we could go plug our phones in there so and everybody's like hanging out in this like three foot by three foot room just charging just having a like charge party it was so sad though i think one of the hardest things for me was when my phone wasn't like allowing my mom and dad to reach me my yeah. mom was freaking out like because they had no idea what happened it was happened. scary because like only like people outside of Florida, like our family, just watching. Not here. They're watching the news, seeing this massive, like almost the worst storm, like hurricane in in the Katrina history. Katrina is like the one above us. This is like it was the like second worst. One mile an hour below like a Category Five hurricane, and yeah. they're watching the news, seeing us get just absolutely and smacked. not knowing if we're okay. And nobody can get a hold of us because no. we're not getting calls or texts, and we can't get calls or texts out no, because no so service, scary. no power. I will admit though, until we lost power, I think I talked to my dad for like five hours. Like literally a day straight. Pretty like much. we would call each other every hour to like check. He would check on me because he knew how much I cried and how scared I was. But no, we got through it together. And Hunter was a trooper, like helping me through the night. And he did it though. I <laughs> didn't terrible. I tell you, did I not, did I not tell you that we were gonna get through it and oh, we're yeah. gonna laugh about it later? I'm not laughing and, yet. And I said, and I said, this is gonna bring us so much closer together. It definitely did. It's just another thing that we've accomplished and gotten through together. Yes. Got through COVID. We, okay, since we have been dating. Listen to this. We have literally been through so much crap. We have been through COVID. Just yeah. quarantining for like a year in freaking New York, which was the worst state to be in, then I get COVID and I'm sick for like two months. Horrible. And then right before that, we moved to New York yeah. and we set the, I think the most snow New York has oh, ever like gotten in inches. history. And we set the record as soon as we get there. Yeah. And we were snowed in for a while. But no, we've literally like, if you think about it, we've been through that. And then we had a family member of his pass yeah went through that and then now through this it's just like god i really think is proving that you and i are meant through thick and thin forever and ever like hell yeah i've gotten through so much yeah baby i love you we can we can accomplish anything, anything. if you can get through stuff like this like you can get through anything. guys i'm telling you like you really truly learn to grow when you are pushed out of your comfort zone yeah that, I mean, I, I truly believe that. For sure. I'm growing a lot as a person and overcoming a lot. Yeah. 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 Give me some. Yeah. Okay. So next question is, what is your favorite thing to do together? And how many kids do you want? Whoa. What's about kids? What's about babies? You want to go? Sure. Okay. So our favorite thing to do together, let's each say something. Okay. I love to work out with Hunter. I think it's so Amen. fun to push yeah. each other and to see how my muscles are getting a little bigger. Oh, like just cool. see how much like better I feel and look and everything. Also, uh, shameless plug, uh, go subscribe to us oh, on 429 Fit, guys. We're slowly we growing We just that. talked about, we want to start posting some longer style like fitness videos. Yeah, because so many people ask what we do. So yeah, that is a huge passion of ours. So go subscribe to that channel and then follow us on Instagram and TikTok as well. For sure. Fit. All right, say something you like and we'll say a few things. Um, this is something we kind of got into at the beginning of when we were on that side of our trip over there just recently. Yeah. It was playing pickleball. Oh yeah. I love our pickleball matches. It's even so though intense. they can get kind of intense and a little heated sometimes. <laughs> we're competitive. Libby and I are very competitive, but I love playing I pickleball too. together. I do too. It's like, it's so fun. It's I don't so know, fun. I don't know what it is, but like. 
I think that is like my favorite. It brings out the best. Is like sports, playing sports together, working out together, and then like I love getting a good meal and sitting in our bed and watching TV together and YouTube. Like <laughs> we some love people think it's so wrong. Good, good. Some people think it's so wrong to like eat in, in your, your bed. bed. We love it. But that's like our a freaking comfort. ritual for yeah, us. Yeah, every day. I swear, we get our food and we go to bed and just watch a show. Yeah, it's perfect. Okay, and then for kids. I'm going two to three, and I think is a happy medium for us. Yeah. I think we've agreed on that since for sure. we started Two to eating. three. Yeah. With a chance of twins. Yeah. So I think if it's <laughs> twins, it's one and done. And then yeah. if it's one baby, then we'll maybe do two or three. Yeah. I like that. Crazy! Some little blonde beach babies running around. <laughs> Guys, if you are still watching to this point, comment the word yo. Why you V V V? No, that is the way like we tell each other we love each other. Say yo you. And we love you guys as well. Is, We're freaking weirdos. Where are we? Just We're comment it down that. below. Okay, next thing is what is your favorite thing about each other? Somebody actually asked me this on Instagram and I answered it. And I would say my number one thing about you is you just feel like home to me. I, I don't know how you describe that. It might be just like you're comforting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love that. Yeah. I love that. I want to say something like I've, I feel like I've always given this answer. I always say like you have the biggest heart and I, which you do, but yeah. Yeah. I, something new that just popped out like your eyes. Do you do like my eyes? Yeah. That's funny. I love your eyes and they're hitting the sun just right. Yeah. And they're like, they like sparkle. He, they since the day I sparkle. met him, he's told me they're, they sparkle. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Guys, Libby is like, I don't know. She she says that I'm her comfort zone, but like, mm -hmm. we literally do everything together. We're best like, friends. Like, when I say she's my best friend, like, she is a literally my best friend. Like, we absolutely, like, we spend every second together. I don't know how we do it. We do. But. Like, there's no other person and, in this planet that's. I don't see it any other way. Like, I wouldn't want it any other way. No. Because I love absolutely every second of it. And. It's she's just my best friend. Like that's what I love about her. She's my best friend. This question is super fun. What is the one place in the world that you really want to visit? That like is on our. We have to do it on our bucket list. Like it's a place we just really want to go together. Okay. You want me to go? You go. Okay. I. And then I'm gonna go. Okay. We might have different ones, and then we'll just have to do both. All right. This one kind of just popped into me, but I've actually been here before, but I have not. The country is very big. I want to go to Mexico together. Like, whether that be, like, Cancun. Tulum. Is Tulum in Mexico? Tulum. Or, oh, yeah, because they got that, that gym on the beach. It's insane. That would be so sick. I know. Um, I miss a bunch of different, like, really I've cool never vacation been to spots in Mexico. But uh, I just know we would have so much fun there. And it's just, it's so beautiful. Yeah. I've never been there. Yeah, either. like. My family goes. I've never been there. Yeah. And if we went to like an all-inclusive resort, y'all know Libby and I can eat like. I've never been to an all-inclusive. And oh my god, if don't don't do that, we're gain like ten pounds. Yeah, and honestly, There's I think all you can eat food and drinks. Someone else asked like where we want to take our honeymoon. I didn't put it in here, but I think somewhere in Mexico would be really cool. Yeah, and it's a lot closer than like going to like Bora Bora. Bora, Bora I don't or think something. we're ever gonna do that. I just can't fathom that flight. Unless we're like staying there for like two weeks or something. Yeah, like you know? where you give yourself a few days to adjust to the different time. Yeah. Okay, and then mine is I would love to go to Greece because. Santorini? It's, well, or Moikin, Moikinos, is it? Mykonos? Mykonos. I think it's Mykonos. The blue and white buildings <laughs> and the water. It's just like... It is such a different vibe. Like, it's absolutely gorgeous, but it's like... Yeah. And our favorite only one... food is Greek food. Oh, my God. Like, yes. we would literally be in heaven. Yeah. I would love that, I actually. think those are both yes. great choices. Ooh, what's your favorite fast food place, and would you ever get a dog? Okay. Favorite fast food wait, place. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Favorite fast food. I don't really know. Oh, Culver's. Oh yeah. For Culver's. Sure. For sure. Um, Culver's. Does Chick Fil A or Chipotle count as fast food? Yeah. Mine would be. Oh my God! It's so hard to choose between the two. Um, I would say. I feel like Chick Fil A is Culver or <sighs> Chipotle. You can't go through a drive-through, so I'm gonna. Say I, I was gonna say Chipotle or Chick Fil A by a hair. So Chick Fil A Culver's. Yeah. And the whole puppy thing. Stay tuned. 
We might have something coming, y'all. <laughs> I'm not saying it's coming, but we might we might have we might have something that we haven't told you guys about. That's all we're gonna say. Okay. Name one thing about each other that we think's disgusting. Oh my god. Oh my god. You wanna go first or me to go first? I think you should go first because we'll see how mean I get. Okay. <laughs> um, you can really throw me under if you want. I don't care. I got a feeling Libby's gonna say the same thing about me, but uh Libby, like when she farts, it's not just a fart. Like, you know, it's not like a like a little petite, like a like a I feel like a girl should <laughs> fart. It's not like a little one of those. It's like, I swear, it's like a category five like earthquake. And it could last for like five seconds. It's like a <laughs> and I actually it blows my mind. I don't know how you can possibly do that. I don't know. Like <laughs> <laughs> are girls, are they supposed to poop and fart? Is that... Yeah. I, you know, I thought that was like a myth. Like... No. Girls don't poop and fart, but this one, she's different. Oh my god! And they can just reek sometimes. No, hunters farts smell really bad too. But I feel like I'm supposed to do that. I don't know. It's right? so hard. Yeah. I don't really know what's gross about you. Like, yeah, your farts are disgusting. Like, when they get bad... And, and also Libby's Hunter armpits. Will Libby will <laughs> put deodorant on and... My, let me smell. Let me. I thought we said one. Let me smell. All right, she just showered, so she's good right now. She's good. All right. But I didn't put you in. But if she didn't just shower, I probably would have passed out right there. I'm not kidding. You're making me sound. So we would have had to cut the vlog right there. No, we said one. One. I'm sorry, you started coming out. I couldn't help it. Okay, hunters. Yuff. 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 <laughs> I'm trying to think what's. Oh, I know it. What? His one foot. What? <laughs> Betty, you don't want to it like that. It's disgusting. Don't say anything else. It's so gross. That's so mean. What if I'm embarrassed? <laughs> he probably is embarrassed. It's We've never crazy. talked about that before. There's nothing wrong with me. There's nothing wrong with my foot. No? No. Oh, baby. I had to think of something. <laughs> but we know that. We've talked about it. It's, we've, it's fine. What do you mean? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with my foot. Why? I don't know why you gotta expose me like that, all right? I didn't say why. <laughs> Freaking turd. Okay, we have one more. Meanie head. We have one more. That was fair and square, because you told him how bad I stink in my farts. Fire, fair, and fart. Okay, so the last one was how bad did our apartment get hit, and it didn't. We got very lucky. Like, Guys, when it rains here, our apartment looks worse than it does yeah. after this hurricane. I don't understand it. It I, was like somehow untouched. Like, like literally untouched. We talked to people who were like around the area. At, the golf courses are open. Yeah, I don't think they got any rain. No. It was It was insane, which, I mean, like we said earlier, this was supposed to be the direct impact was like literally this area that we're in. Yeah, and there's so no this, this was supposed to look like what Fort Myers is right now. Yeah. So... I don't Nothing know. Nothing happened. But with ending this video, I just want to say my heart goes out to anyone who's been yeah. affected by Hurricane Ian. I want to thank God for like having us be safe in here and yeah. being able to talk to you guys. And we just love you guys so much. And we thank you all for like who messaged us. Like we had numerous messages yeah. asking how we were doing and that is really kind. And it was insane. Like the, the way you guys just like came together and just as like one big family and said like you were praying for us yeah. and praying for everybody that was like in the impact of the hurricane. For sure. Like it means a lot to us so and much. I'm sure it means a lot to like everybody else as well. So. For sure. Huge shout out to you guys. We love you. We love this family and we love like the community we are growing right here, guys. It's amazing. <sighs> we'll see you guys in the next video. video. We love you guys. I love y'all. Peace.